What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Griddle Grub. Today we're going to be making a fajita burrito. Just going to take everything from a fajita and some more stuff, make a big burrito out of it and let's see what we get. Check out these ingredients. So we got chicken right here. I got that seasoned with uh, Cajun and uh, olive oil. That's it. And then over here we got some red and green peppers, white onion. This is the sauce we're using. Some really good stuff. Got everything in the description that we got in there. Some jalapenos, lettuce, cheese, uh, refried beans. This is the special creamy jalapeno sauce. Got the recipe for that in the description as well. Then we got these big burrito shells right here. And yeah, we got this thing warming up. Let's get it going. All right, we're gonna get going on this. I got the griddle nice and hot. We're at about 375. I have these three burners on high. This left burner is all the way, it's off. Um, I'm gonna turn these down to about a medium high. Turn the, uh, that one low. Just cause I'm gonna throw my, the food that's done over on the side over there. So let's throw a little oil down. This is peanut oil. Got that going. All right, get going on this chicken. This is about two pounds of uh, uh, cut up chicken breast. We cut it into slices. So yeah, let's get that on here. Come on. All right, it's playing games with me. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I'm gonna get all this stuff turned about. There, there's the oil on the chicken already. So we got that. All right. Boom. Now we're just gonna let this stuff go for a minute. And then, thank you. And then we're gonna get the veggies going. I just wanted to get this stuff going first a little bit. You know, I'm gonna throw a little bit of pepper on. I put, yeah, we just put the, the uh, Cajun. Now, my last video that I did uh, uh, fajitas on, I uh, made this sauce with uh, Cajun and garlic, and uh, it's in the description. But man, it was really good. So, doing the same thing with this, and it's probably gonna be just as good. I don't see why it wouldn't be. So yeah, let's just get this stuff cooked up. Bring it right back. Chicken is almost done. Just gonna kind of get it into a pile. Some of these pieces are really big, so I'm gonna have to do some cutting. But let's go ahead and throw a little bit of this sauce on the chicken. And then we're gonna throw the rest of it on the, uh, the veggies. Don't need that much. It actually goes a lot farther than it looks. Make sure we get some chunks of that garlic in there. All right. Boom, now we're just going to mix this up. Ooh, baby. So the chicken is just about there. I'm just going to move that over to the cooler side. It's really hot in this area, though. Just so this stuff doesn't overcook too badly. Let's just keep it over there on the side. All right, let's get going on these veggies. Lots of veggies. All right, boom. Just gonna you know, throw a little bit of oil in it just to get it going. Lots and lots of veggies. Now the wife is, uh, we're just gonna cook the, uh, the beans, the refried beans. We're gonna cook those in the house just cause I got a lot going on out here with all this stuff. And then she's also making a uh, rice. Cause that's the kind of rice that we like to just make in the pot, you know, while I'm cooking on the grill and get that going so we're good on that now let's 
Alright. Boom. Let's throw the rest of this sauce on right here. Want to get all that sauce out of there. All right. There we go. Now I want to throw on these serrano peppers. Let's get those. Eh, let's get them in the hot side. Get them right over there. All right. Let's mix this stuff up with the sauce. Don't go in that drain. All right. Let's keep mixing. Lots and lots of stuff. This is good. I mean, the griddle is almost full with just this stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna let these veggies go, heat up, get nice and good, and I'm gonna bring you right back. All right, so the veggies are getting there. I'm gonna move the chicken in with it. Ooh, buddy. Man, this is a lot of food. I mean, this is this is enough food right here. I mean, we got four adults here, and I'm thinking probably get like I don't know eight people to eat off this. Whew. Everything's done. Got an area cleaned up right here. So let's go ahead and throw this tortilla on. That's uh, these are some big boys. They're not the biggest ones that you can get, but it's pretty big. So I'm just gonna put this on not long at all because I don't want to burn it or nothing. Just want to get it nice and warm. Like so. That's hot. Turn them down a little bit. All right, so let's put this together. Burrito's all wrapped up. Now what I'm gonna do is take it. You got the seam right there. Just actually, let me get this out of your way. Just gonna put that down like that. Put my press on it, even roughly. Got some even pressure there. Now I'm gonna let that toast up and we'll see how it looks in a minute. Let's see how she looks. That's what you want. I don't, I don't know if you can hear that through the mic, but it's nice and crispy. It's not gonna fall apart on you. So let's cut this thing up. Ooh. Got all my burners are off now. Ooh, look at this. This is looking really, really good. 
Let me take that bite right there. We got everything. Veggies, meat, rice, beans. I don't want to burn myself. Not bad. That chicken is perfect. That sauce, man. That Blackstone, crazy Cajun. That's all we're seasoning these with and some really good stuff. These veggies have a nice crunch to them. Mm. You guys need to dive into something like this. Super easy to make. I mean, the cook time was, it's a way longer to cook the rice and to get all that stuff made that it wants to cook all this. So yeah, that's all I got guys. Appreciate you coming along. Demolish that thumbs up for me. Let me know if there's something you want me to cook and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.